Hello you. Oh, I've been busy. I've been busy, busy, busy. It's nice to be busy. I haven't been busy in quite a long time. I've been busy blitzing because I've actually been feeling up to it and boy does it make a difference. Oh, just be, instead of sitting feeling like crap and uh, not being able to get anything done and watching the whole house fall apart around, I've actually been able to get up and move in again and break the back of some of the uh, piles of stuff that's been building up and bags of stuff chucked out and been making room. It's been really good, really cathartic, you know? And you know the really good upside of it? I chucked out so much stuff, I made room for an extra shelf. The Commodore 64, well, I say Commodore 64 and Spectrum and Am Amiga desk that I've got upstairs. So I figured it only took about half an hour to build the shelf. Then took several hours of shifting cassette boxes around and seeing what fitted best where. And um, so I figured now is a good enough time to um, show you the um, the layout. I'm probably going to shift it around again and again and again. It, it's ever evolving, isn't it? Um, but um, happy enough with uh, what I've got shoved on the shelves now. I'll probably stick some some stuff up in the loft, but. Um, Shall I show you what we got going here? Let's get this off the tripod. I don't know how how easy this is going to be uh, one-handed, but if I um, uh, light, no, I'm going to have to use the. Uh, this is my lamp. It's a very old Habitat lamp that I've had for about uh, probably about as long as I've had the 64. Hence why the springs are a bit loose and it's kind of a bit wobbly, and I've got it held <laughs> held tight together with a old uh, bandana. Um, no, hang on, let's see if we can try to do that without blinding myself. Then we'll start down the bottom here. Uh, PC big boxes, and is that going to work? There we go. And of course, I've labelled all my plugs now, and to go through them all, so uh, rewired a lot of them that have been really, really dodgily not actually held in by the flex anymore, just held in by the wires, so they've all been properly redone checked fuses and stuff like that. Uh, a few PC big boxes, some classics that I've had for I don't know how long, and a few that picked up recently. Go like, oh, Incredible Machine and Duke Nukem, ah, actual copies, brilliant, and Shogo and stuff like that, and uh, and uh, Lucas Arts Collection, uh, Volume Three. I need to find room for this. See, already I'm running out of room. Um, got me uh, zapped binders. If I can. Yes. Hello, mouse cow. Yes, hello. Uh, so, issue one, and yes, they're all nice to have to hand. And uh, let's grab that. What's that one? <coughs> uh, free with Zap 64. Oh, another day at the arcades. Mmm, vigilante. That was terrible. Uh, it looked nice, but hey, it was just Kung Fu Master. Ninja Warriors. Chelnov. The yeah. Haunted Castle. Hmm. Castlevania. Oh, look, Super Ranger. <laughs> yeah, Shinobi. Dead Angle. Counter Run. Rabbit Punch. Rabio Lepus. Yeah, like that one. Minsky did that one. When I asked him to, that was that was fun. Um, Outrun. What? Saying that, according to players, the fastest run takes you through Devil's Canyon, left to Snowy Alps, right to Wheatfield, and right again to Autobahn. Practice these to maximise your top score. Hmm, there we go. Amusement Players Associ Association. Right. <clears throat> oh, look, tips on Bubble Bobble as well. Brilliant stuff. Various people high scores. Oh, there we go. April 88. With Dan Dare 2. Um... Yes, classic era, classic era. This is uh, good stuff. So yeah, getting distracted now. Let's. Uh, w. H. Smith. I did. I didn't send off for um, the official binders because that would involve like stamps and envelopes and checks and things like that. I didn't have a check book at the time. Whereas if I did have cash, I could go into W. H. Smith's and just buy a binder. I think they worked out cheaper as well. But I do wish I did have. I'm going to leave that there. I'll try and do this one-handed. Uh, we have your Sinclair. We have my your Sinclairs up there. Can I get that one out without too much trouble? Obviously, I don't have as many your Sinclairs because I started later. Um, where's the day? Where? When was this? It probably says inside, doesn't it? Ah, oh, there we go. October. 
not 82. Issue 82 then. Ah, the infamous Yul Sinclair, it's crap in a Funko Skillo way t-shirt that they had to white out because Smith said no you can't say crap on a magazine cover. Oh look, this one's missing the bit where I cut out to send off for five games for 20 quid and they'd run out. So they sent me this folder to say sorry. So that was nice of them but I really wish I had the uh, it's crap t-shirt. There we go. I can't remember what I sent off or I've probably got the crap uh, sheet of paper somewhere. But five games Space Crusade, Lemmings, Rodland, Smash Team, just Lords of Chaos. Oh, so many to choose from. Um, yeah, so I've got um, from there, August 93, up until the big final issue. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Let's pop that in there. Uh, we have the mysterious black boxes. Are they TNR Nog? Are they ultimate titles? You only have to pull them out to see. Um, oh yes, the Commodore, I've forgotten I'd shoved that one in there. The uh, Commodore Former Action Replay Poke booklet. I will put that to one side up there. There's me Comcom adapter. Ah, Paul Glancy's Complete History of Video Computer and Video Games. Complete History up till 97, is it? Up till 96. So the Complete History of Video Games up until 96. Could do with another copy of that. An, up an updated version, maybe, from 96 to present. Um, yeah, so, some new titles, I say new titles, some old, well they're all old aren't they, some of them are new to me, but uh, yeah, Racing Destruction set, I want to do that one sometime, but I, I don't have the time to wait for it to load, that one. Uh, moving up, we have Hellboy taking on Cronin, is it Cronin isn't it, I can't remember now, Cannon Follow 2, I need to do that one sometime. Uh, someone asked me to do Super Skid Marks recently, so I'll have to load that one up. Um, there's some duffers up there, um, and of course I've got boxes and boxes and boxes of floppies. <laughs> I've put a whole box of crap floppies up in the loft. Uh, that's the Old Republic for the PC, because I didn't have room down there. Um, <clears throat> got me uh, some discs there. I don't know when I'm ever going to get around to doing uh, any of the Infocom adventures, because they don't make for thrilling viewing, do they? Um, what we got here? Mission Elevator, Mega Apocalypse, Infiltrator. You know, I don't think I've ever played Infiltrator. World Games, Zynapse, Nemesis, Championship Wrestling, Freeze Machine Cartridge, Cholo. I need to do that one. Um, oh, Retro. Oh, what's your name? Damn it. Sorry, man. Glasses, beard, fun guy, does lots of... He, he, he had a fun little uh, talk along with um, uh, the first um, episode of uh, Games Master recently. I'll put it in the comments. God, my mind's gone blank. Sorry, man. He did a lovely uh, little one of uh, fond box fondling of Cholo. Or Cholo. I've never known. I've always called it Cholo. Um, oh, yes, we have the Imperious Leader making a nuisance of himself again. Uh, various disc games. More disc games there. Need to get my disc drive fixed. The Lamasoft Shrine has been moved to here, including a very, very dodgy looking disc copy of. Hang on, let's see if I can get that out. Well, I'll just show you the cut. I mean, no, 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 no. Yeah, it has the Lamasoft logo, but oh god. Mmm. Lamasoft badge. No idea if official or not. Um, Matrix for the Specky. Have I covered that? I think I might have. Uh, oh, Eagle's non-playing version, it's just there because I got Iridus Alpha non-playing version. Um, oh yes, there's my uh, Action Replay Mark 5. Where's my Mark 3 gone? That's a point. Hmm. Uh, all my Commodore cartridges. Oh, I'm already messing things up here, aren't I? Jack Attack, Bomberland, Archon, Nexus cartridge. Uh, not a cartridge, it's just a cassette, but they always have these funky cases. Generally filled with shit. Uh, Star Glider 2 for the Specky, uh, because the Star Gliders are up there, because uh, they're bigger boxes. So I put all these size boxes on this shelf here. Uh, Turrican disc box is bigger. All those are disc ones, so I get off. In fact, yeah, I think all all of these are disc. I think the Julian Rignall collection is cassette, and then we've got cartridges. Um, those are cassettes. Need to do speedball sometime as well. 
Um, that's a specky compilation, I can't remember what's on that. Oh, Double Dragon, oh joy. Ninja 2, I can't remember ever playing it on the uh, specky. Afterburner I've definitely played, and Weckelmans. Uh, Last Ninja 2. Better get that one out for you. Better show you the goodies in that one. Although that might be spoiling it for another video. Excuse me a minute, there we go. My very battered copy of Space Shuttle, and I did manage to do that at the time and never sent off the patch. Uh, two copies of Robocop, one for Specky, one for 64. And then that box contains my Saga Emperor keyboard for a rubber keyboard Specky when I get a spare working one. We've got a Dalek guarding my um, label printer. That box there contains all my 8 bit joysticks that are spare. There's me boxed 48k. There's a spare box quick shot too. Let's get this light to angle correctly and stay in place. Then we've got other big boxes. We've got my Beyonds I've shoved up there. It's by vs. by 1 and 2, Lords of Midnight. God knows when I'll get around to doing that one. Uh, Combat Leader, Super Huey. I need to do that one so I wanted that so long. That looks, I saw that on TV once and went, oh my god, that looks like an arcade machine. It looks so fast. And I only had solo flight. Um, Oh yeah, Shark Attack, Tony Tronic. Uh, Shadow of the Beast on the Specky. Been tempted to do that one for a while now, but hey, loading times again. Um, Commodore Music Maker, I need to fiddle around with that. And so much stuff to do, but hey, I've been busy tidying, but maybe now I'm feeling a bit better, he says. Touch wood, don't want to jinx things. Star Glider, one for Specky and the 64. Echelon. Um, Eric Nelson asked me to do Echelon at because I've got the headset for that as well, but that's on disc and I need to get my disc drive working. Um, a, a full ammo slash full action compilation on there, one for Specky, one for 64. That's the uh, Hollywood collection now, I believe. Oh no, sorry, that's uh, the in crowd. That's Specky, I think. That's the Hollywood collection. Uh, that's Daily Thompson's Olympic Challenge. That's Magnificent Seven. Plus one. <laughs> Platoon. On disc again. Driller and Total Eclipse are tapes, so I can do those sometime. Uh, Rob Caporetto, Hellfire 64, did a good one on Driller recently, if I recall correctly. And Total Eclipse I've got for 64 and for Spectrum, so I'll try and do both of those at some point. That's the 64 version of our type and the 64 version of Afterburner. SDI, haven't done that one yet. Um, that's a US gold compilation, Giants. Uh, Gunship, Micro Soccer, need to do that one. There's so many I'm going, I need to do that, I need to do that. Both of them are Specky and 64, Specky 64, Specky 64. Wrestling games. Back to the Future 3, Batman for Specky. Shadow Warriors are done, so I'm not doing that one again. Hudson Hawk, Smash TV, I haven't done Puznik, have I? I think, no, I have done Puznik, haven't I? Uh, Rainbow Islands, Dominator, Turbo Charge is one I need to do, but I want to do Last Ninja 2 and Vendetta before that. And speaking of Vendetta, there's that. Limbo's Quest, I think I've done. Hammer Fist, I think I've done. Switchblade, I think I've done. Ninja Spirit, I need to go back and continue from level 2 because it crashed. Ninja Remix is another one I've got wanting to do at some point, because, uh, well, hey, it's all the last Ninja games, and that's the Specky version. Power Drift, I think, is the Specky version. Actually, that might have Specky and 64 versions in there. Uh, that's Cross Out, or X Out, depending on the out. Down Dare 3, which I think I'll probably hold off on until I can find a copy of Down Dare 2. Might as well do them in order. Shadow of the Beast on the Specky. What can I say? Loading times again. Nemesis I've done plenty of times already. Turtles, never wanted to do ever, but hey, it turned up in my collection. International 3D Tennis, which I've done fairly recently. Uh, Laser Squad, I ought to do properly because I've just got emulated at the moment. Can we get shiny red boxes? <laughs> Lords of Chaos I need to do, but I've lost the instructions, so I need to get back into that. There's my first copy of Turrican before I got the disc version, and Turrican 2, and Creatures, and Creatures 2, and that's Boxed Untouchables. I'm not happy about this shell, this case, that's just a. because I moved the Lama Soft stuff. All my other various puffy cases, clamshells, have all got shoved in there. That's half Specky, half 64. Then we've got Nosferatu the Vampire, which was just on TV the other night, and still don't go a bundle on it. I know I'm a goth and I should love it, but the cover, the poster is lovely. The film, mm, 
Blue Max, I need to go back to that one, I want to play that one again. Bog It, fun adventure I never got anywhere with. And Space Harrier, Scooby Doo, Little Computer People, the cassette version. I've got the disc version loose over there, I seem to have mislaid the, uh, the rest of it unfortunately. Flip and Flops, Flip Personalities, Bard's Tale, played that so much in the day but lost my saves now, and I don't know if I can <laughs> go back to it. But uh, what else we got? Thing Bounces Back, Rana Rama, what's that? Street Hassle, Silkworm, The Idol on Rampage, The Hit Squad, I think was. Daily Thompson's Decathlon, Staff of Carnath, oh, Memory, 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 Beachhead, and one other, was it? Oh, Jet Set Willy, right. Uh, ten Computers 3, Ten Computers 2, which I'll get onto once I've finished Ten Computers 1, wherever I've left that. Um, mixture of Specky and 64, I can't see at this height now whether that's showing up. Oh, yeah, there's my uh, Caesar Arcade, and there's me Zap Baseball Cap. I can't see what those are in the viewfinder now, but I'm, hopefully you can. Uh, Vinnie Minolfi's uh, Crazy Hacks. Got to have to have a go at some of those sometime. Strange Loop, I've got to try and re reload again. And Touchables on Specky. No, no, sorry, that's 64, but it's in a uh, dual case, not a um, cardboard one, which is odd. Uh, various Renegades, and yeah, that's all Specky stuff there now. See, so things are a bit mixed up. I'm, not sure uh, about this. Uh, yeah, I've got some stuff shoved in the back here as well. So, right. God help me, I want to play Monopoly with, a, with an E at the moment because I had a hooky copy of that years ago and want to go back to that. There's my task sets Wizard's Lair and Jet Set Willy, Raid Over Moscow and Encounter. What have I got behind there? Oh, yes. The Fabulous Wonder. Need to try and get that one working sometime, although from what I've heard, probably not. Uh, more jewel cases, more clamshells, more jewel cases. Uh, yes, two copies of Great Guiana Sisters. One I got second hand for a fiver of, off a friend of the family when they were selling up their collection, and the other one I got from a car boot sale in Tamworth, way, way, way back in the early to mid 90s. I was a student at the time, so I think I only paid about 50p for it, so... <laughs> but, uh, that's there for uh, emergency if I need to uh, pay a bill, or, or if someone has a nice copy of Catechis or something like that, they want to swap for it. <laughs> um, uh, the Outruns, various other... Desert Fox, Star Wars... Do, 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 what else we got down here? Yeah, see, I've got California games up there, and then a bunch of Imagine an Ocean title there, and then I've got epics US gold titles down there so it makes no sense does it and then we've got uh, Khan of Running Man Garfield wasn't too bad I ought to go to that back to that sometime but hey it's Edge Langdall litigation sort of <laughs> and a box of spares and things and then under there I've got um, all me uh, old floppies a spindle of CDs I need to go through an old shuttle PC box of Amiga discs shoved under there that I want to go through at some point. And then we've got the drawers of cassettes. And look at that. How annoying is Kane 2? You line the rest of them up. Now it's back to front. Um, let's see. So obviously if there's anything anybody particularly wants to see played, what was on that? I think that was a Hockey copy of 720. Oh, yeah, 720. Oh, and my uh, Cliff of Death tape. Here. Get back in there. Get back in there. You will get back in there. This is the one problem with these. There we go. Um, give us a shout if there's anything in particular anyone wants to see. I know sometimes people have asked for stuff and I've <coughs> tried and they failed to load, but give me a reminder. Things have been distracting at the moment, so uh, it's always good to get reminders. Um, got some more there, uh, some more there, and some more there. Ah, and there's me Mastertronics. Did I do that one? I think I did. Oh well, we've done it again. Uh, Sacred Armour of Antirad comic and cassette for the Specky, but no inlay. There you go. 
um, and a mixture of various boring PC DVD cases, but uh, we're not here for that, are we? And various other, oh, there's more cassettes over there, there's more zap cover tapes there, there's Transylvanian Tower for Specky, and a bunch of others behind there. Excuse me. That's an Amiga mouse. That's a zip stick. That is a carousel of Specky titles. Houston stuff, Houston stuff, Houston stuff, and Ultimate stuff. Oh yeah, then we've got... I'm not going to get all these out now because there's... There's an Amiga and a... Uh, and a Specky Plus 2 in the way. Oh no, there's some more games in there. Hand and Ghosts and Goblins. Oh, I know Bomb Jack. Tish, what am I like, eh? Yeah, we've got a few more there. We've got Zap cover tapes there. Get in there. Cables over. See, even though I all reorganised, things are still a bit cramped. We've got various discs to go through. Copy of City of Thieves for you now. Going to Chrome Tool. Do you ever need to do any calculating? We've got the Commodore calculator. Um, got a Disney badge. The Oliver Twin sent me. So thank you very much for that, guys. Um, we have Robo with a Your Sinclair badge. We have. Uh, Various uh, Commodore user cheat sheets that I taped together years ago. Um, poo -poo 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 -poo. We've got the spare key. We've got the A600. We've got the bread bin playing out there at the moment. Uh, we've got a TV remote. We've got a cup of tea. Chin chin. Ah. Yes, uh, let's pop that there. Rubber key. Various cassettes to go through at some point. Uh, we have a C64 calendar, and I don't have wall for it, or a desk or anything, so it just kind of sits around, unfortunately, at the moment. This month, it's Green Beret month. And then we have data set, a Specky tape drive, and my Enhancer 2000 disk drive that needs care and attention. And I've tried cleaning discs and it's not done it. Um, is that, oh, I was going to say, is that everything? Almost everything. Um, let's put that to one side. Also have shoved to one side. Briefcase full of bits. <laughs> Some more specky gettings, cables, books. Shoved to one side to go through another time. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the, um, that's the rig. <laughs> And that's kind of my viewpoint of it, if I uh, lean back a bit. So you can see uh, what it's like for me to uh, play. I'm generally sat about this angle. But, oh yeah. You don't see every day, innit? Look. I still have my ninja mask. And sh rubber shuriken. The rubber shurikens are dangerous, aren't they? So they remove those, and of course you look like a terrorist. Though. But we didn't have to, didn't have terrorists wearing those, that sort of thing then. They wore balaclavas, and they blew up bins in train stations. So, uh, yeah. Oop. Oh, yeah, and I got another one of the... I got a cheat sheet for uh, Last Ninja 2. Yeah, anyone fancy typing that in, in order to cheat? Here's a poke to help your ninja through the mean streets of Manhattan. Just type it in, run it, and follow the on-screen instructions doesn't say what it gives you. <laughs> That's a lot of typing for not knowing what you're going to get. But, uh, I'll leave that one in there for now. But uh, yeah, so that's uh, that's the collection as it stands at the moment. Um, he says knowing that there's a, there's also a box of um, there's a large shoe bo storage box underneath the sofa in the living room filled with the uh, Spectrum cassette. But, uh, that's uh, that's the setup here now. Um, happy enough with that at the moment. Um, see, uh, if, see if there's anything you like. And uh, obviously, discs are a bit of a problem at the moment. Without disc drive, I'm saving up some money to um, hopefully uh, get a disc drive off um, Futures 8-bit, along with a uh, power supply for the uh, Specky before I accidentally blow up my only working plus two and uh, maybe one of those Atari 78 uh, composite dongles that'd be nice but uh, you know saving I mean that that shelf cost 20 quid so that's a bit of a bargain 
um, but uh, it's going to take me a bit longer to um, scrabble enough together to uh, build a splurge on uh, on more stuff for this, but hey, it's not, it's not like I'm short of stuff at the moment, is it? So, uh, anyway, blimey, I've been rambling here for 25 minutes, and I was going to be loading a game. So, um, I'd best leave it there then, I guess, and um, now you can see why it takes me so long to decide what to play, because I'm going, um, 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 I don't know, that, maybe, ooh, don't know. So, um, yeah, let me know if there's anything you particularly want to see me play badly. He says it's a copyright Steve Benway, <laughs> with emphasis on badly. And um, yeah, not much more to say really, is there? Um, if I've missed something, I think I've pointed out everything on this wall here, but if I've missed something, give us a shout and um, I'll either uh, reply in the comments or um, uh, try firing it up and uh, giving it a go. Um, one last scan through. Uh, I mean, some of these boxes, some, some of these ones, these big boxes, I think might go in the loft just to make more space here for other stuff. Just to make more space for more cassettes. <coughs> I mean, maybe move some of those onto here, perhaps. But uh, yeah, so this is how I've been dis distracting myself after doing a load of cleaning and clearing out. And my reward now is, ah, I can see more of what I've got without having to rummage so much. But, uh, yeah, so I just thought I'd share that with you and uh, yeah. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed watching. Um, I'll get on playing a game now, eh? And uh, then you can have uh, some footage of some game rather than me just wandering back and forth, pointing a camera at some shelves. But uh, hey, if you if you're on my channel, if you're following my channel and you're watching this video, I'll die. You probably don't mind this anyway, because show us yours. I I like seeing other people's collections. It's great to have a. This is what this is what I want to see on other people's collections. Too often it's like, here's my collection, and you go, oh, well I've tried to pause but it's all blurred, so I, I like see, having a good old mooch around other people's shelves, so uh, hopefully you do too, and uh, like I say, and I have said repeatedly several times now, let me know if you want to see anything in particular, because half the time I'm going, I, do I play this, that, this, I, I don't know, I've got a few lined up, I've got a few videos in the queue, um, I really need to get my disk drive fixed, so it's mainly cassettes at the moment. I've gone through all my cartridges, I think. Um, but, uh, yeah, um, not much more to say, really, is there? So, uh, that's that then, I guess. I shall uh, click this back into the... Oh, have I, uh, I've been zooming in and out, have I, by accident? There we go. I shall get this set up, and uh, let's get that locked in place ready for me to accidentally kick over. There we go. Coming to almost half an hour of me rambling about my shelves. But I'm proud of them. I've worked hard with these shelves, cleared out a lot of stuff. So, um, I keep saying so, yeah, a lot, don't I? <clears throat> anyway, that's me shelves. That's the state of play at the moment. Things are um, feeling a bit brighter because not quite surrounded by so much crap, although other people would look at this and go, yes, you are, Rob. You're surrounded by crap. Look at it. But, uh, yeah. This is all ready, then we're all wired up. I'm going to fire up a cassette next and uh, hopefully see you on the next one. Ta-ta!